Hey everybody, it's Danny Reed, and thanks for tuning in to Cooking on High, where I take an ordinary recipe, I infuse it with extremely potent, high quality medical marijuana, and then I serve it to my guests until they're incapacitated. Tonight, we're going to cook one of my favorites. It's trailer park chicken waffles. You're not going to want to miss it. You're going to hurry back because I'm throwing it down again right here tonight. Cooking on high. Hey everybody, welcome back. So, uh... <laughs> hey everybody, welcome back. Again, I'm Danny Reed and you're watching Cooking on High. Tonight, we're making one of my favorite recipes. Trailer park chicken waffles. The first time I tried this was down in Savannah, Georgia in a restaurant. Uh, are you kidding me? With this puss. <laughs> hey everybody, welcome back. I'm Danny Reed and you're watching Cooking Out High. Tonight we're making one of my favorite recipes. I tried this down in Savannah. It was amazing. It's trailer park chicken waffles. <laughs> we loved it. We brought it back up north. I put a Detroit trailer park spin on it. You're going to love it. It's amazing. I got to tell you, the sauce I thought was disgusting when I heard the ingredients. And uh, once I tried it, I was blown away. So you are going to be too. I can, I can be sure. But first thing you need is chicken fingers or nuggets or whatever. You need some fried chicken stuff. So you get it in the, in the frozen section. You can get it at the deli. You can get it at Kentucky Fried. You can get it at McDonald's, Wendy's, wherever. Just get it and bring it home. Make sure it's hot. So we got some over here heating up. And uh, <clears throat> if you ever want to keep a plate hot while you are cooking something in a toaster oven, just throw the plate on top. I always think it's cool to impress a company like that. And I always say, if company's not coming, don't do it because it's a waste of time. All right, so the next thing you want to do is you want to toast up your waffles. And these are Eggos, but you can get any kind of waffles in the freezer section. Or if you want to be really you know, fabulous, you can make the batter and do that whole thing. <clears throat> I never did. These are Eggos, okay? So you're going to pop them in the toaster oven. So, one of the best things about this recipe is the sauce. And I gotta tell you, the ingredients in the sauce are mayonnaise, mayonnaise, and maple syrup. Now, when I heard that, I just, it did not sound good at all. A friend of mine thought it sounded good. So, I don't know what you think, but what I'm gonna show you is how to make it. That's really what you do is you take mayo and maple syrup. And mix them together. So we're gonna squirt some mayo in here, and it should just about you want to squirt in about I don't know two tablespoons probably of mayo, and then about the same with the maple syrup, maybe a little shy. Somebody I know says just eyeball it, so you can do that. You can do whatever you want, but. and uh, then you just mix it up. <laughs> That's why I just tell it. Look like your pizza. <laughs> you need to put it in something. <laughs> this looks so nasty. <laughs> why is it so nasty? <laughs> so clearly, we had some issues with the sauce. <laughs> it looks really nasty when you uh, when you first incorporate the mayo with the uh, maple syrup but you gotta say just keep whisking it just keep working it working it working it <laughs> like really nice like this kind of like butterscotch it look really nice so uh, once you're done with that uh, and you got your chicken you got your waffles over here cooking in there all set we're gonna pull those out and when we do that we're gonna get this all plated up for you and serve it up right here tonight cooking on high Hey, welcome back. So it's time to just put this all together, get it in the oven, and uh, get to chowing. This is amazing. So the waffles are done. We're going to just put a little butter on each waffle. And then top it with your chicken. I'm going to just throw two pieces on here. 
Next, take your grated cheese. I love cheese. And then we just keep it a real. We use real bacon, <laughs> real bacon bits. <laughs> we just keep it real here on cooking on high. We're keep it real, whatever. All right, so um, that's that. We're gonna pop this in the toaster oven here. So here's the sauce that I told you about. Remember the mayo and the maple syrup? You just take this, drizzle it over the top. And you can put anything you want in this sauce other than, you know, these two ingredients. You know, anything else that may help you feel better. Put it in the sauce. The sauce is always good place for that. All right, so we are going to challenge. Thanks for joining me today. I hope you dig this as much as I do. I'm just... <laughs> I can't even wait another minute. So <laughs> Thanks for checking in, Cook and I. We'll see you soon. Bye bye now. Ah!